Hi kids! Welcome to KA Online! Before we start our lesson, why not we get you a song and we can dance to it. Make sure you sing loudly too. Right, come, let's get ready and enjoy! Hello kids! How are you doing at home? I'm sure you guys are having plenty of fun with your parents around. Plus, you have been a very good kid, I'm sure, by helping your parents at home with the house chores and also doing your homework. I'm Teacher Penny and this is my friend Mr. Teddy. He is going to join our class today. Right, today 
In our class, we'll be talking about this unnamed hero in the Bible for our third lesson. And he is the Mr. Incredible. And he is also the big boss that cares so much for his servant in the Bible. He is the Centurion. Come on, let's go to listen more about this story. Let's start. As Jesus was staying and teaching in a nearby town by the Sea of Galilee, there was a hundred of Roman soldiers led by a centurion based in Capernaum. Do you kids know what is a centurion? Centurion is the big boss that leads the army of hundred soldiers. He plays an important role. Somebody that you think that is in control of many, many things. In the centurion home, his servant, whom he treated like his own family, is dying. Many, many people believe that the servant will not survive the fever. But Centurion is different from others because he has faith in God. He holds on to his hope. The Centurion heard about Jesus' teachings and believed that Jesus could heal his servant and went all the way to the Lake of Galilee to float for him. When Centurion found Jesus, he was with the crowd. Jesus heard Centurion's worry, and Jesus asked Centurion, Shall I come and heal him? The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. Jesus was amazed by his faith and said to the crowd, Truly, I tell you, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. And he turned to the centurion. Go, your faith has made your view done. And at the very point of time, his servant is healed. Amen. So kids, tell me, did you enjoy the story? I hope you do. And Teacher Penny has a question for you. Who is a hero for Christ in the story? The answer is a caring person. A hero doesn't need to wear a cape, doesn't need to wear a mask, and he doesn't need to fly or he doesn't need to have a superpower to actually be a hero. Every one of us is actually a hero as long as we start from ourselves by caring about people first. Like what Centurion did. He is a superhero because even though he's a, he's a Roman high-ranking officer, but he still genuinely cared for his servant. He saw that his servant is dying, but he did not give up on him. Instead, he ran all the way to the nearby town in Lake of Galilee to look for Jesus to perform healing for the centurion's servant, right? Yeah, so 
we need to be genuinely care for people regardless who they are. Our superpower is the heart to care for others and to reflect the light of love. It's just that simple. One last question from Teacher Penny. What does a hero for Christ do? A hero for Christ is always reaching out to seek healing from Jesus. It's just like the centurion. He ran all the way to the town in the Lake of Galilee just to look for Jesus to perform healing for his dying servant. Only God can do the impossible. That's why regardless how powerful he is, uh, in, uh, in the Roman, in Roman times, he still go all the way to look for Jesus, to believe in him that he can heal his servant. How about us? Remember, earlier we are all heroes as long as we have a caring heart. We too can seek for Jesus and we seek him in our prayers. Secondly, a hero for Christ will be seeking healing in faith as well. Right, we see in Centurion's faith. Jesus actually offered to go to his house to perform the healing, but he believes strongly that regardless where Jesus is, his miracle will still be performed to his servant without needing to go to the house, without needing to go near to the servant. That's how faithful and, and strong in belief the centurion has. Right? The centurion faith is so astounding. He believed that Jesus could just heal his servant by proclaiming his healing. Most often, when we reach out to Jesus, we too need to take a leap of faith fully trusting that Jesus will heal our prayer and will be healed. And the person we love will be healed as long as we proclaim in Jesus' name. I hope, kids, you have an enjoyable session today. Right now, we will be moving on to Craft! Yay! Even Mr. Teddy is excited. Let's go! Hi again kids! Right now we are going to enter our craft session. What we're going to do today is we are going to color your Roman Imperial Helmet and then we are going to make it into a helmet see I have a colored version and I'm going to show you how we are going to create the Roman Imperial Helmet is that okay? right what you need to do is after you have colored it all you just need to cut it out Cut it into their shapes, okay? Cut it into the shapes. Right now, Teacher Penny is going to cut it. And... Okay, let's do it. So, let's start with this one. It say glue here. Okay, the white part. You're going to put the glue here, all right? So that, take this out and stick it at the center, all right? 
stick it behind of your color part okay Okay. And then take this side. This should be your last. Okay. Here, okay. Goose here. Put the goose here. Supposed to go back here. Okay. Okay. And then this goose here. Supposed to be this part. Okay. Let's see it. Inside. Okay. And this is inside. Inside. Okay. Not here, okay? It's here. The one inside, the curve is inside, okay? to be here okay ta -da! right it's okay to have these edges I mean this extra side okay it's okay so that you can put this one and And stick it at the back at the extras, okay? It's okay, it's fine. You can even stick it here further inside, okay? This is meant to adjust your head, adjust the size of your head. So make sure ask your mommy or daddy to help you to glue it, okay? Follow the measurement of your head. So we got it! So basically, this is your imperial helmet. Then you just need to put this this paper behind you. Then you get it. Oh, by the way, I make this too wide. If your face is small like me, it's supposed to be closer to your to your nose okay this is supposed to be next to your nose but this is too big too wide for me right kids hope you love this art this craft and you can get it downloaded all right and print it out make sure you color it color them nicely okay color them nicely this one already with the patterns and this one is the empty one you can draw all the shapes and anything that you would like onto this empty okay empty parts and customize your own helmet all right kids i hope you love this craft all right see you next time enjoy bye